One day, Thomas was waiting at Far Car Station when Sir Tottenham had arrived. Thomas, I have a very special announcement to make. A familiar face is coming to Sodor. He has met Percy before, and James. Here he is right now. And at that moment, a green tank engine arrived. Gator, said Thomas. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Where have you been? He's been busy, said Strapad. Anyways, Gator, no real big jobs for you today. So, you're, you you have the day off. And Sir Topmat went back inside. Nice to see you, Gator. How have you been? I imagine you'll be glad to see Percy again. He's been working hard in your honor. Ah, hello, Thomas. It's nice to see you again. How's any Clabro, by the way? Said Gator. They began talking like old friends. At that moment, Percy and James arrived. They had to do some shunting in the yards. Gator, said Percy. Nice to see you again. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in ages, said James. Besides, I, w I wish we could stay and talk, but we have some shunting that needs to be done. And Percy and James went to the yard. Later, Donald and Douglas broke down outside of Wellsworth Station. They were double-heading a passenger train that Sir Top Matt was aboard in. But ahead of them, Hank also broke down, as he couldn't go no further. Okay, Dougie, said Donald. We should have we should have gone to the works to be expected. Yeah, I know, said Douglas. This is very unfortunate. I feel bad. Sir Top Matt inside one of the coaches became furious. If we don't get out of here soon, I'm going to get furious. But he soon get his, got his wish. Gator arrived. Gator, said Sir Top Matt. Nice to see you again. Can you please save us all? We're in a bit of a sticky situation. Of course I will, sir, said Gator. And don't worry, I will get this done in no time at all. And so he did. First he pulled Hank to the works, and then Donald as well. Then he came back for Douglas in the train. Ah, uh, well done, Gator. You are a really useful engine. As a reward, you deserve a fresh coat of paint. Thank you, Gator, said Douglas. I haven't met you in a while, but nice to see you. Ah, you too, Douglas, said Gator. Besides, we need to get out of here. This isn't an environment for alligators anyways. The two friends laughed and talked like old friends as they puffed on into the snow.